What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and with, you know, this game being so popular and with the PS5 around the corner where GTA 5, I think everyone will get on the online right away, uh, I thought we would look at my character, I have not played this game in ages, uh, we'll just go into a solo session, I haven't played this game in absolutely ages, I don't remember what level I am, how much money I had, and I thought we'd just have a look back at what it was like, uh, you know, I mean, the PS4 came out in what, 2014? Yeah, I think it was 2014 that came out, and I had just finished high school, and I was in college when the PS4 dropped. And it was pretty sweet, you know, GTA 5 was on the PS3, the online had some issues, and then it eventually got worked out. And I carried, I think, like a, a level 30, level 40 character across to the PS4, because I sold my PS3 um, shortly after. I completed the story and stuff. Uh, congratulations, your login gift is 1.4 million. Is that 1.4 or 14 million? Uh, and yeah, so I carried a character across and then when it came out on the PS4, I played it quite a bit on and off And then I, I went for a phase where I played it all the time Literally every single wake and day we were playing it and then uh, I had a few days off and days on days off stuff like that But yeah, I literally downloaded it. This is the dude we we're rocking with uh, You can tell by the clothes I played kind of not I wouldn't say recently. Oh, I've lost a car apparently I still remember how to play obviously uh, We're gonna have a look at what we've got things like that. Oh, I lost my Tempesta. That's one of my favorite cars so I've got 5.1 million. I'm level 210. Wow. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a hot minute. We are going to go. We're going to get my mechanic to drop me a car off. And we're going to go to my house. Uh, we've got like a bunker and stuff as well. But mainly I know you guys probably just want to look at the house. We've got a couple of cars there. Got two motorbikes there. And no cars in that one. Let's get the Tempesta. And, uh, and yeah, we'll have a little look. This video won't be very long. I just thought it'd be funny, you know, they're still updating it as well, so I don't know if when the PS5 comes out, if you'll get your old character. I, in a way, I actually hope not, because I, I want to start a new character. Maybe I will just start a new character anyways. The only problem is it carries across the money, so there'll be a new character with... Shut up. It'll be a new character with $5 million. Uh, let's go to my house. Oh, yeah, I had a... I was a CEO as well. I forgot I had a CEO place. Uh, part of the Kings. And then I had a motorbike club as well. Absolute madness. Like how much I used to play this game. I'm sure some of you guys level 500, 600. Um, but I remember I also had a second account on this. I had three accounts actually. Three PSN accounts. Uh, it was different PSN accounts obviously because I didn't want to carry the money over. So I had this account that's level 200. I had another account... That I got to level 80 because I had an old series on an old YouTube channel back in the day. It was actually quite popular. Uh, called Road to Level 100. Uh, which I'll probably do again when the PS5 drops. And then you had... I had another account that I just used to play on for fun. Which was level 60. So, yeah, you know, I, I played quite a bit. And, you know, obviously when you do play these games, you spend a lot of time just fucking about with your friends, racing, you know, things that don't get you XP, or if they do get you XP, they get you very, very little amounts of XP, uh, you know, it was, all, it was all about that money earned, it was never about the level, all about earning that money, and yeah, let's, uh, but before we drive in here, we're gonna go on, uh, here we go, we're gonna go on the stats, here you go guys, so career, global, uh, respect points is 19 million, total income I've had is 43 million, Total players killed is 2,551. Total players, total deaths by players, sorry, is 1.5 thousand. My player to player KD is 1.6. That's actually quite good. That's better than most GTAs I've played. Time spent in GTA Online, 27 days. Time spent in first person, 16 hours, because there's a trophy for 15 hours. And then all the game modes there. I don't publish any things like that. We've got skills all maxed except for stealth and the lung capacity. Uh, general here created character 2013 I created this character on the 3rd of the 10th so it's literally been seven years this character is seven years old last ranked up was the first of the first 2020 Jesus was it holy shit uh, longest single player game session was 10 hours uh, total deaths two and a half thousand you got all the deaths there total time swimming bloody bloody blah, blah, blah total time walking one day 19 hours time in cover 13 hours Crimes, cops killed, times wanted, uh, time spent with wanted level one day, vehicles favourite bike, driving cars, six days I spent driving cars, Jesus Christ. 
Cash spent on weapons, 3.5 million. Vehicles, maintenance, 17 million. Properties and utilities, 16 million. Earned from jobs, 19 million. Uh, accuracy was a 19% overall accuracy. Wow. Uh, arch enemy, mouse 666, which is my uncle. And victim is uh, Jordan, which is one of my best mates. Uh, and then this stuff, you have to go into the Rockstar Games Social Club. So let's have a look in the old house. Have a look at the cars, see what you guys think. We'll have a little look. Uh, we'll take another car and we'll just uh, drive about and have a little look at what's going on. Oh, god damn. So I'm just going to take you for a quick walkthrough, guys. The only car that remains from my classics is this one here. This was the first ever sports car I bought. I think this car is valued at 1150000 or 250000 something like that. 240000 I think it's valued at. So there it is, Pegasus Vaca. This was like the Lamborghini to me, and it was at valued at 240000 This was the first one I bought proper, and then this is when the heist comes out. Go away. I knew I needed this car because it's fully bulletproof. I needed that. This was um, just a car that I just thought was cool. It wasn't expensive. Uh, this one was actually free, as you guys know. This one's a free car, which I always thought kind of looked like the Nissan GTR, so I liked it a lot. Uh, this one, just I just wanted a white and gold car, so this one fitted well. Uh, this one kind of looks like the Audi R8. I think everyone knows that. Uh, this is one of my favourite cars. It doesn't go. It's not fast in a sense, but it's the coolest looking car in my opinion. A real heavy looking, angry muscle car. And in this one, the Sultan RS. This bitch cost me a frigging fortune because obviously this was at Benny's Auto Sports, and this was so much fun to customise and make. It took me so long. It, it's not black. It's actually purple. I'll take it out the the, the thing in a minute. This was like a Ferrari thing that I just thought looked really cool, and I've left the garage. Let me go back in. So yeah, I just thought this was a really cool car. It's super quick, the acceleration's fucking like shit off a shovel. And then this one I really like. This this was this gave me a Joker in Suicide Squad's vibe car. I like the color a lot. Everyone I used to play with always asked me for the color, and um, I think it's 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 like two colors mixed or something. But I'll take this one out. Uh, this was like at one point my fastest car, my funnest car, my most expensive car, and uh, it's so much fun to drive. And this this car like took me so I think it took me a good four or five actual real life days to get it how I've got it now. It took me quite a bit, and uh, as you notice, all my license plates are king. They just always are. I don't. It's just always the way it's been. Right, so I'm now in an invite-only session, guys, so I can actually do secure serves to register as CEO. I'm not going to bother going through everything, because I know you guys won't be too fussed about it. But we've got this here. This is the uh, the office that we had. We'll go and check that out quickly. And we've got the warehouse and the, the, uh, the what's it called? I can never think what it's called. The, uh, the, the vehicle warehouse, that's the one. All right, one thing I also like as well is my guns. I always think this is pretty sweet if I do, there you go, like that. I like this one. And then I think I've got it on most of them. Yeah, I've got the gold on gold on that one. Uh, I don't have nothing on that one because I picked that up. I've got the Deagle, which is one of my favourites as well. There we go. And, uh, oh, yeah, the Revolver as well, which has got the, the CEO stuff on. And the Double Action Revolver, which is from the when Red Dead was on its way. And the AP Pistol, which has also got engravings on. <laughs> um, and, obviously, I have the Minigun in Platinum. So, yeah, like, I was always quite one for having uh, as many guns as possible. The MG engraved as well. Got the Tommy gun there in platinum. Uh, heavy sniper there. And I've got this one engraved as well. And I think I've got that one engraved. Yep, and that one in, in platinum as well. And, uh, and that is it for, for guns. But the special carbine was always my go-to. I used to fuck a lot of bitches up with that. I mean, we're just going to drive this car just... You guys just get to see it. I'm sure a lot of you have got it, whether or not you've got it like mine. It's the one thing I liked about Benny's is not many people's cars were the same, uh, especially as they had the Banshee as well, which I believe was actually faster than um, this car. But this one just looked more appealing to me. Uh, I, I love I love this this car to absolute bits. But yeah, if you guys want to see some GTA, uh, especially when the PS5 drops, then let me know. I'll definitely be doing it regardless. Um, but yeah, we're going to go up into the office. You guys can see that. And then we're pretty much going to end this video here, guys. There's not much else to show you. You know, the bunkers are all the same, in my opinion. Uh, the car warehouse is not important. The other warehouse is not important. Uh, I've got the arcade, which I never used. And I just thought I'd show you guys my office. Uh, I never really upgraded it much. I always just thought it was cool to have an office. There's the boss. Hello. Uh, I always just like looking around because there was always, like, things. The more money you earned, the more money appeared about. And you had weapons and champagne and tablets and stuff all about and drugs all about the place. And an MG there, which I always thought was really cool. 
I always liked how the more money you earned, the more money that stacked up around the place, and you would just, yeah, just have, have money all over the place. And uh, I always thought this was really sweet. And uh, yeah, I always thought this was really cool. But um, I was really impressed with how they done this personally. I think this was the best thing they ever added. I wasn't, you know, the heists were extremely disappointing, in, in my opinion. Can I sit down? This one, this is the coolest one, in my opinion. This is probably one of my favorite things they ever added. How you sit here, you pull this chair out. Boom, you pull the Glock down, look around the table, it's fucking sweet, and then you just sit there like that. I think that's really cool. But yeah, this is just, you know, I just thought I'd make this video, guys, just to show you my old character, have a little talk, see if you guys, you know, if you guys still play GTA, let me know. You know, is, is GTA up your street, or are you, you not a fan of it? Did you think this one ruined the series? Was GTA 4 your favourite? Was, uh, was GTA San Andreas your favourite? Let me know what you thought your favorite was and uh we'll get a new personal vehicle here just to show you guys this one all right guys well yeah that's gonna do it for this video um if you've enjoyed make sure you drop it a like let me know if you want to see more gta let me know if you still play gta this is just just a little fun video i thought i'd make uh you guys know i play a lot of games and uh i was i was heading on gta to make a trophy guide video that i made back in the day i'm gonna make it one last time to help everyone out and uh and yeah make sure if you've come from that video you guys will help each other out and uh, show each other loads of support and stuff for that trophy but yeah i really do appreciate the support guys don't forget to subscribe down below as you can see i'm a top tier driver but i promise i always land on my wheels <laughs> uh but yeah thanks for watching guys uh, it's been a lot of fun just to be back on the game uh, look for all my stuff that I haven't looked through in a, in a long, especially the stats and stuff. I haven't looked through that in a long, long time. So it's super cool to do that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.